Hello dear audience, today's story is a perfect piece to heal the shattered hearts out there. It revolves around the sweet love story of a couple in the entertainment industry our protagonist, Sura, who is in the romantic phase of her relationship when suddenly, to her dismay, a wedding invitation is clearly placed on the table while her beloved is joyfully announcing his impending marriage. Suddenly, she receives good news from her manager, informing her that she has been invited to participate in a movie featuring many famous celebrities. However, her happiness is short-lived as Sura endures the director's insults during filming, especially when she has to work with someone who has betrayed her and endure his disdainful remarks. It is in this pitiable state that Sura coincidentally meets Sung Hyun, and their relationship officially blossoms. From then on, they gradually become a golden couple in the entertainment industry. This is a complete story, so you don't have to wait for part two. Let's follow along with the saying that many girls dream of, I want to shine like a star, even if I am far away, I will prove that I am here. At a luxurious hotel, the echoes of the program host's introduction lingered as the wedding reception preparations concluded. Soon, we will warmly welcome today's main characters, the groom, Kim Young-gu, and the bride, Mi Young won Let's give them a round of applause as we invite the groom to enter the ceremony hall like any other guest in the wedding procession. Among the guests, there was a girl who was particularly focused, her gaze fixed on the groom. What was peculiar was that she was dressed discreetly, her hands clutching her glasses constantly as if afraid of being detected by someone. The girl appeared tense and kept wondering how she could let that traitor be at peace, especially after what happened last week. The wedding invitation was coldly placed on the table, and the girl looked at it with curiosity, while the man, the groom, casually sipped his coffee, oblivious. When she questioned him about it, the response she received couldn't have been more dismissive, he was getting married. The future father-in-law of the man is a presidential candidate, Zion Gu, emphasizing that this is the reason our positions are gradually diverging. We don't know if you are naive or foolish anymore. The tender gestures of happiness between the two suddenly shattered in the mind of the young girl, lingering on the deceitful man's words. He continued to use his words to attack, and she couldn't help but wonder why she didn't suspect anything when he constantly avoided answering her calls, only agreeing to meet for a photo shoot once a month. So the romantic dates between them were just lies. He even pretended to be grateful, well, if you've never done it before, how would you know about overseas photo shoots? And hundreds of thousands of beautiful memories between them shattered along with the enthusiastic applause of the guests at the wedding. After hastily finishing her soup, the girl began to incessantly remind herself to be patient because she had to endure. He had invited her here to eat, so she should eat first. Let's see this as the final gift for him. She was still contemplating enjoying the piece of bread in her hand when she suddenly heard a hesitant apology from the hotel staff, indicating that this seat was already reserved, and they would lead her to another seat. If only they knew her name? The girl was momentarily stunned as she observed the confusion and hesitation of the waitress, which made her feel embarrassed. She sank into thoughts about why she was here. Was it because she wanted to pretend not to care or because she wanted him to worry when he met her again? Or perhaps it was because of the gratitude she felt for Youngba's words when he saw her in despair, so your parents died in an accident? Living alone must be difficult for you. From now on, I will always be by your side. Then a gentle touch on her tear-stained cheek filled with affection, those words kept replaying in her mind, making her constantly blame herself for not wanting to admit them, but no one was as foolish as her. Seeing the tears of the special guest made the waitress, though uncomfortable, have to speak up and apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am, but this is this guest's seat. The girl immediately stood up, then unexpectedly spoke out loudly, I'm Sura Huang. My name is Sura Huang. The hotel staff continued to guide her, yes, Miss Sura Huang, please follow me. After returning to her correct seat, she realized with annoyance, so I've been seated in the corner. And why is my face so flushed? I must put on my glasses. Sura rummaged through her bag while muttering to herself, Where are my glasses? I must have left them on that table. Then, noticing only a few bits left in the soup bowl, the handsome guest suddenly looked puzzled as he assumed he had already eaten, but his friend sitting beside him exclaimed in amazement, Sung Hyun, huh? They served the soup as soon as you sat down, didn't they? Sung Hyun immediately denied, no, I didn't eat this. 
He was still curious about the glasses when he suddenly felt a cool breeze, Sura had just bowed apologetically and said, I sincerely apologize. At this moment, Sung Hyun finally realized with suspicion that she was the one who ate after him and couldn't take his eyes off her. It seemed like he had met her somewhere before, but where? Hmm, I wonder where I've seen her before, he thought. I'm impressed by Song Hyun's skill in taking advantage of the opportunity with his tablemate not paying attention, he quietly moved another bowl of soup closer and started eating in a measured manner while contemplating, oh well, even if I remember, what difference does it make? Sura is still confused, putting her glasses back on and feeling puzzled as to why she felt so flustered. The loud call, mixed with Sura's excitement, continued as the enthusiastic manager exclaimed, you passed, you passed. They want you over there. Look! Sura, also jubilant, exclaimed, Can you believe it? Why did they choose me of all people? Then followed their tight, joyous embrace. While Sura was still reeling from the truth, she asked her sister, Am I dreaming, sis? The other girl hastily confirmed it was real, saying, You fool, you're crying again. Explaining further about the timing, it was for a new movie by director Dong Han Yu, a prominent figure in the Korean film industry. The film was highly anticipated because it featured two box office actors, Sung Hyun and Chang Hyun. At the moment, Chang Hyun was still ecstatic. In the past two months, she had spent time auditioning for the lead role, but eventually gave up as no one contacted her. Finally, she had broken free from three years of obscurity. Let's take a look at Sura's artistic achievements. First, when she appeared in a beverage advertisement, she graced the screen for a full two seconds. Moving on to the drama film for young adults, Sura reluctantly took on the role of a friend of the main actor. Her most recent appearance was in a sports drink commercial, although it's not as glamorous as becoming the background actor for the female lead. Facing Sura's countless questions, wait. Didn't have time to celebrate. They didn't say we should go there to read the script, did they? Could they have changed the lead actress? Maybe the filming schedule got pushed back? Her manager hastily clarified, no, they said the production process is still on schedule. They said you have to attend the filming in Busan after three days. Upon hearing this, Sura immediately became anxious. Is it filming? Not a script reading, she asked her manager, who nodded in confirmation once again. Despite feeling disappointed that she wouldn't have any lines, Sura still tried to clarify, is it really the role of Hey Jim? Her manager looked puzzled and asked again, Hey Jim? But they said it's the role of Suji, right? This response felt like the sky falling down before Sura's eyes. She forced a bitter smile and slowly sat down on the ground, her voice filled with bitterness, that's right. Concerned about Sura's distress, her manager urgently asked, Sura, what's wrong? To understand more about why she was so distraught, it's important to know that the role of Suji is the protagonist's ex-lover, a face that appeared frequently in his memories. She is a character who eventually becomes desperate and ends her own life, despite knowing that she has already delivered all her lines. But Sura couldn't shake off the despair at the thought of portraying someone who lost hope in life. However, she quickly regained her composure a second later, saying, All right, what if I perform well and gain public attention? When will I get another chance to act? Hearing this, Sura's sister quickly interjected, that's right. Plus, you can return the handkerchief now. Sura then focused on her thoughts for a moment and suddenly remembered, that's right, it's been a year, but the incident from a year ago, after the director was furious and scolded, glaring at Sura with disdain, red ribbon, how many times have you messed up? You're just a supporting role, but you keep making mistakes. Even the lead actor doesn't make such errors. At that moment, Sura could only bow her head in apology. Seeing her genuinely worried, Sura's manager said, Sura, are you okay? The director will scold us if he's not happy. I'm sorry, Sura, for suddenly being reprimanded like that. Hearing this, she quickly replied, There's nothing to apologize for, sis. I feel guilty enough. Then she awkwardly left, saying, Sis, I need to use the restroom for a bit. As Sura walked away, the voice echoed in her head, her, the red ribbon. It felt like a dagger piercing her heart, causing her to stop abruptly, questioning herself incessantly, even though it's been five years since I started acting, nobody remembers my name, and then wiping away her tears hastily, 
Why am I crying? The shooting isn't even over yet. Suddenly, someone approached Sura with a handkerchief, and she realized it was Song Hyun Kong, looking embarrassed. Why are you here at this time? Sura tried to regain her composure and greeted him before he could finish, I'm sorry, the filming had to pause because... I... But he interrupted her with a hand gesture, this dress is sponsored, so don't mess it up. Use this to wipe your tears. She took the handkerchief and mumbled, thank you. Seeing Song Hyun hurriedly leaving, Sura quickly reminded him, wait, the handkerchief. He immediately replied, you don't need to return it, just use it. Despite this, she still felt uneasy because it seemed expensive. Then he suddenly stopped and asked, by the way, what's your name? Song Hyun's question caught her off guard, and after hesitating, she replied, my name is Sura Huang. Recalling the moment when she held the handkerchief in her hand, she felt uneasy and thought, at that time, I couldn't say thank you because my mood wasn't good. He may have forgotten me, but I still feel honored to act alongside him. Sura quickly surveyed the scene because she couldn't wait any longer. Upon arriving in Busan, the atmosphere on the film crew was lively and bustling. Sura was extremely surprised and exclaimed, Kim Ziangu. He also recognized her immediately, Sura, Sura Huang. Both were suddenly furious. Dong Han Yu shouted, What are you doing here? Sura confidently replied, Of course, I'm here for filming. Why are you here? Ziangu blushed with embarrassment, but then his expression changed to delight upon hearing the director calling him. I'll be right there, he replied, then turned to her, saying, It seems you only got a small role, right? Be careful with your words. I don't want your reputation to be linked to mine, understand? He then put on a fake smile and said to the crew member, Well then, I'm going. Just as Sura exclaimed, It's over. I just heard from the film crew that Kim Ziangu is also participating. You must have met him, right? They were all puzzled, asking why he was here. Sura's expression turned sour, questioning how he became the lead actor. The assistant calmly replied, a natural investor withdrew, so the production budget was insufficient. As far as I know, his wife is. Suddenly, Sura remembered Ziangu's words from the wedding invitation, the future father-in-law of my wife is a presidential candidate. Her eyes dropped with thoughts, even though I've been trying to forget him, why does he get to be the lead while I'm just a supporting role? The manager seemed to understand everything and kindly asked Sura, should I tell them you couldn't shoot today? After bowing her head in sadness, Sura boldly declared, no, why should I avoid him? Having a small role is more fulfilling and honorable than obtaining the lead role through dirty means. The assistant, who had been tense until then, suddenly brightened up, praising, that's right, my outstanding actress. You can read the script I received in the car earlier. After serving drinks to the crew members, I'll come into you, Sura, who was eager to lend a hand to the assistant, only to receive a refusal, no, focus on your acting. You hurriedly grabbed her sleeve, causing her to stop in surprise, asking with concern, what's wrong? Feeling bitter, Sura whispered, I'm sorry for not being good enough to attract attention like others, making you always. Before she could finish, the manager hastily interrupted, nonsense. Who said that? In my eyes, no one is more beautiful than you. If you keep repeating those words, you'll drive me crazy. Today, you're shooting underwater scenes, so give it your all. Hearing these words filled her with gratitude, thank you, Jean Kung. Then he saw Sung Hyun rushing past, quickly calling out, Hey, senior, what about the handkerchief? Sura received the same response as before, You don't need to return it, just use it. Later, Sura sat down to read the script and pondered her role, although it's a small part, she has a big influence. I should seize this opportunity. At that moment, the sounds on the other end of the line continued, Sung Hyun Kong, so you're not bothering to come to set today and choose to resist by confining yourself in your room? Am I the one who needs to resist? How come it's you? Sung Hyun also anxiously replied, Yeah, aren't you upset? But why are you silent? The other end suddenly fell silent for a moment before curiously asking again, What's the use of being upset? Have you figured out a way? Have you found a solution? It turns out the person calling Sung Hyun is actor Chang Hoon, continuing to say, even if I do anything, 
Director Dong Han won't be surprised. Maybe he'll just ignore it and focus on filming. Seeing Sung Hyun remaining silent, he continued to inquire further, is director Dong Han Gu still hesitant? So don't resist anymore, he's not unaware of the tricks they're using, but we can't do anything else, so we have to be patient. It's just a movie, there will be other opportunities to act. Don't worry about solving your part first, when Chang Hun cut the call, he didn't forget to remind, check how the actor Kim Zeong Gu, who replaced me, is doing. With a smile, whenever Sung Hyun agrees to help pay attention to Kim Zeong Gu, before the call ended, he suddenly remembered the first time he met him at a wedding party last month, never expecting to meet him like this again. This morning he came to greet him, but only bowed. The whole crew was confused because his wife had absolute authority. After thinking for a while, Sung Hyun sighed in frustration, it's all a mess. He was suddenly interrupted by a loud knocking on the door, catching his attention. The man who entered looked startled and announced, Sung Hyun, bad news. Sung Hyun was also curious and asked, what's the matter with Wang Su? He panically replied, how can you still sleep? Help us stop director Gu. If this continues, he'll kill someone. At the film set, the director's shouts echoed, cut. It's terrible, terrible, along with frustrated sighs. Why are you hesitating and being afraid like this? You should act out the suicide scene by drowning yourself. Why do you look like someone in need of help? Sura's voice continued to tremble, I am sorry, truly sorry, director. The assistant standing nearby hurriedly advised, boss, take a break. If you continue like this, you'll only cause more trouble. The director, looking helpless, reluctantly announced, all right, take a 20-minute break. Sura, looking distraught, approached to express her appreciation. Unexpectedly, the assistant director bluntly replied, you don't need to thank me. You're already the third person to play Suji's role. The film crew doesn't want to find someone new. That cutting remark seemed to crush her spirits. Fortunately, Ms. Kyung arrived in time to comfort Sura, come on, warm up your body again. Sung Hyun also stood from afar observing everything, her eyes showing a hint of distant pity. After escorting Sura to her manager's car, she continued to worry, Sura, should I turn on the heater in the car to warm it up? I also have a hot pack in my bag for you. Sura tried to appear fine until Kyung turned away and left. Only when she was alone could Sura let out a sigh, how could I mess up 15 times in one scene? Sura Huang, pull yourself together. Just as she finished speaking, she heard the sound of the car door opening and Zeong Gu stepping in, causing her eyes to widen in astonishment. Conversely, he appeared extremely excited and teased, quite impressive. After quickly locking the door upon entering, Wang Su expressed his curiosity, Hey, Sung Hyun, where are you going? He hurriedly replied, I'm going to stop director Gu. They said the actor playing Suji is about to collapse. I'm also concerned. It's so cold today, and that director knows no limits. At this point, Zeong Gu began to tease Sura in the car. Sura Huang, I know you're not a famous actress, but I didn't think you'd volunteer to play a dead character in the first scene. Do you want me to get you a different role? His satisfied expression continued, let me make up for lost time. Sura firmly and resolutely expressed her disdain, no need to talk nonsense. Despite her strong determination, he seemed unwilling to back down, come on, don't see me as a villain. I just want to help because we used to date, and now I pity you. Have you not been tired after working so hard for seven years? His gentle concern was unlike anything she had experienced before, making her involuntarily shudder. Sura's expression suddenly turned serious. Kim Ziongu, I have a question for you since when have we been dating? Has there ever been any feelings from you towards me? Even just a little? He was trying to restrain himself from laughing at this moment, then suddenly burst into laughter with a sense of amusement. What a ridiculous question. Sura Huang, I'll ask you the same thing, why did you date me? Our eight months of dating felt like kids playing house. I was the only one patient with you. If you treated others the same way, they would have broken up with you in less than a month. You're so arrogant when you have neither wealth nor outstanding achievements. What makes you so sure that I will always be by your side? You should be grateful that I've been with you for so long. Hopefully, you realize that you're not worth much. 
At this time, the sky was already turning dusk, and Sung Hyun was walking steadily, pondering, I can go to the filming location by the beach. He suddenly jerked when he heard a loud shout, Hey, stop! Seeing the girl in front of him looking distraught made Sung Hyun constantly wonder, How did she get like this? Sura's trembling voice, filled with anger, echoed loudly. He then felt helpless, unable to say anything more, and sat down on the ground, sobbing uncontrollably. Sung Hyung was about to turn around and leave when he realized, wait, long hair, wearing a white dress in winter, could it be? Thinking up to here, he was almost certain and called out, Suji, then tried again, Suji, which made the distraught girl suddenly turn her gaze towards him, and he hesitated for a moment before slowly approaching her, intending to say something. Sura was also momentarily confused, then quickly realized that it was Son Hyung Kong, right? As he gradually recognized the girl he had met at Myung's wedding party, Sura also awkwardly greeted, Oh, that, nice to meet you, senior. Sung Hyung's eyes immediately felt compassion for the weak girl in front of him, why would he treat her like this in such cold weather? Her face has turned pale. While Sura was making an effort to greet, I'm Sura Huang, playing Suji, sorry for the late greeting to the senior. Sung Hyun was still focused on thinking about that director with dissatisfaction. His silence made her truly puzzled, why isn't he saying anything? Or did he already hear about it? Just like a year ago. Why do I keep letting him catch me in this situation? While she was feeling extremely embarrassed, she heard someone calling, Sura Wang, and she quickly responded, yes. Surprised, Sung Hyun carefully picked up the coat and gently draped it over Sura's shoulders, then whispered, your coat fell. She hesitated for a moment before trying to speak louder, thank you, senior. He felt even more sympathetic seeing her struggling to speak, perhaps because her mouth was frozen, and if she continued like this, she might run into trouble during filming. Hearing Sung Hyun call out again, Sura Huang, she tried to open her mouth to respond, yes, sir. He kindly directed her once again, the director is over there, so if you want to take a bath, just go over there. Thanks to that remark, she felt even more embarrassed, yes, he heard about it. Feeling ashamed, Sura tried to clarify, I'm fine, thank you. I didn't mean it with the director. Sung Hyung bowed near her, comforting, don't worry, I understand how you feel. However, she couldn't stop the confusion, thinking, no, that's not it. Ignoring all her attempts to deny her own discomfort, he turned away and said, We can't leave it like this. I'll go talk to the director directly. This made Sura even more panicked, trying to stop him, Senior. Please don't. Sung Hyun felt relieved when he noticed that her throat seemed better, his eyes suddenly widened as if he had discovered something when he saw Sura hesitating, No, it's not like that. Sung Hyun suddenly remembered the girl in the red scarf he had met before. He responded seriously, wait, if Koan looked at you like this. She was bewildered, not understanding what was happening, then heard someone calling, Sura. It was Kyung, running over excitedly, great, you're here. Seeing the handsome Sung Hyung greeting her warmly made the manager couldn't help but be amazed, oh my god. It's Kong Son Hyung. Then she tried to regain her composure, politely greeting, oh, hello, Kong Son Hyung, I'm Sura's manager. Sung Hyun's warm reception and conversation with Kyung left her genuinely feeling regretful as they parted ways, although I'd like to chat more, but it's Sura's scene now, so. Sura's surprised expression caught Kyung's attention. Is everything all right? She wondered. Before turning away, Sura made sure to bid farewell, Senior, excuse me, I'll go ahead then. Son Hyung's gaze followed them, and he couldn't help but continue thinking about the name Sura Wang. Why did she seem so sad at Miyang's wedding? Son Hyung remembered her awkward gestures and soft voice, My name is Sura Wang. And just now, when she eagerly called out, Senior. Even the sight of her confusion when she saw his handkerchief and her shy acceptance of it left a deep impression on him. Those things truly made an impact on him, and he couldn't help but remain skeptical, What's with that girl? This is the third time we've met, and each time she's been crying. Despite Sura's sincere apologies for making the director and everyone else wait, the director still responded curtly, What's the matter? You couldn't even be on time for a minute? Why not just wait until then and show up together? Despite facing such coldness, she replied with respect and honesty, 
I'm truly sorry. In her heart, Sura couldn't stop blaming herself, I made the director wait, a mistake that a newcomer shouldn't make. Suddenly, his tone became accusatory, I heard you've been in the industry for seven years now? Despite feeling embarrassed, she admitted honestly, yes, sir. But she didn't expect to receive another harsh admonishment, so you think that being in the industry for seven years is enough? It's like, yeah, I've been in the business for seven years, so people like the director and staff can wait for me. I'm tired, so I want to take a break. Even though Sura tried to explain herself, the director remained relentless, continuing to criticize her, if that's the case, it's understandable when you're just scraping the bottom of the barrel after seven years in the business. His words seemed to inflict a great deal of damage on her. Sura felt truly frustrated, actually, this is the first time I've made this mistake. It's very rare for me to act incorrectly. Today is an exception, and I wanted to say that. But if I can't play the Suji role, then it's just an excuse. The director hastily lit a cigarette and continued with disdain, I've met many people like you before, thinking they're special just because they've been in the industry for a long time. People like that. Suddenly, someone's hand grabbed the unfinished cigarette from the director's mouth. As the director turned angrily, he shouted loudly, What the heck? He then saw Sung Hyung calmly replying, Why so angry, sir? Didn't I tell you I'm the type of Kim Ziyonggu and Chang Hoon's replacement? While he was still trying to confront, the director stuttered, I'm sorry, Kong Sung Hyung, you're the one who refused the role, why are you causing trouble now? Sura looked at him in surprise. Son Hyung remained cool and replied, I'm just asking a question, shouldn't we have shot several scenes by now? The director snatched back his cigarette and yelled, Is this what someone who refused a role should say? Then he reminded the film crew, Everyone, get ready to go. Seeing Sung Hyung closely observing Sura's every move, the director muttered again, Is he trying to change the atmosphere? Humiliating the director to elevate himself? But Son Hyung's demeanor remained composed, No, if that were my intention, I wouldn't go easy on you. He then smirked as the director continued to scold him, heartless jerk. Sung Hyung curiously asked, Has the girl playing Suji ever studied acting? The director replied, I don't know, maybe she auditioned for Haejim's role or something? Hearing this, Son Hyung felt genuinely puzzled, What does auditioning mean? What is it? The director shook his head gently and continued, It's not just her, how could I remember everything? I already have a headache with Chang Hoon, so my assistant handled that and chose her. Even though it's been seven years since her debut, I still worry when she's in front of the camera. That's why. This revelation left Sung Hyung thoroughly surprised as he asked, Seven years? That long? But why haven't I seen her in any films? The director was tired of answering his questions and summed it up, I heard she's played many supporting roles, but I still can't believe it. As for why, you can find out yourself. Explaining it to you would only give me a jaw ache. Meanwhile, Sura was still trying to regain her confidence for her role. Her manager, concerned, asked, Are you okay? Sura hurriedly explained, I'm getting into character really well, it's just that I feel like dying. Hearing this, Kyung was truly alarmed and quickly took Sura's hand to comfort her, it's just a matter of time. You just need to channel your emotions for the performance, okay? Understand? Sura calmly responded, I understand, so don't worry. Despite the storm of melancholic thoughts swirling in her mind, Sura felt a strong desire to excel. She realized she had made things complicated by thinking she shouldn't make mistakes in front of Kim Ziyonggu. Wanting to do everything right would make her look determined to live. She reminded herself to hold on to those moments when she wanted to give up. Kyung and the others present were holding their breath, awaiting the director's command, action. Sung Hyung was equally nervous, eagerly anticipating the cue. As Sura portrayed the anguish of plunging into the sea, she couldn't shake off the director's harsh words, if that's the case, it's understandable that you're just a lowly extra after seven years in the industry. As she dipped her feet into the water, Ziyonga's hurtful question echoed in her mind, aren't you tired of playing supporting roles for seven years? Unconsciously, she recalled the offer, Wang Sura, didn't I say that if you dine with everyone on the list, we'll turn you into a superstar? How could you give up such a golden opportunity? At this point, the water level had risen to Sura's knees, and the haunting words continued to echo in her mind, 
I told you to listen to me. You won't be able to do it on your own. At least people like you still have a chance. As the water approached halfway up Sura's body, she remembered the fateful call, Sura, your parents, your mother. Those memories gradually strengthened her, eradicating her fear of the vast ocean. With each powerful wave crashing against her, Sura's gaze and demeanor captivated and excited everyone around, waiting eagerly. Son Hyung finally expressed his curiosity, isn't this the gaze of someone who's made ten mistakes in their acting? The director, still tense but adamant, replied, just wait and see. Sung Hyung almost burst out laughing, look at you being stubborn. Yet, he couldn't stop wondering, was Sura's demeanor and tears just acting? Finally, the director's command rang out, cut. That's it. Amidst the cheers of the crew, Kyung remained silent, surprised and speechless. Her worried tone broke the silence, Sura. The director let out a sigh of relief, why did she have to drive me crazy when she could do so well from the start? Before he could even turn off the camera, Son Hrong's loud voice was heard, wait. Hold on. He rushed like a gust of wind, while Kyung futilely shouted, no. Don't do it, Sura. Son Hrong dove into the water at full speed, leaving everyone present in shock. What's happening? I think Suji is drowning herself, isn't she? After diving to the seabed, Son Hrong quickly located the sinking point of the duo and reached out to grab Sura's hand. He swiftly clasped her wrist and pulled her out of the water, amidst Kyung's terrified screams, Sura! Wake up, Sura! You can't leave like this! Open your eyes, Sura. Son Hrong continued his rescue efforts. Seeing her weak breath, he decided to perform artificial respiration immediately. Fortunately, his strong breath helped her breathe, and after a moment of worry, Sura began to expel seawater from her body, then coughed and regained consciousness amidst Kyung's frantic questions, Sura, are you awake? Can you see me? Oh my god, Sura, you're alive! Kong Son Hyung saved you, you're okay now. This wonderful senior sister showed absolute love and care for Sura. In response to their concern, Sura quickly tried to raise her weak arm and weakly thank them, oh, senior. Thank you so much. Without hesitation, Son Hyung reached out and gently comforted her hand, thank me later. They sat there, watching over her until she fully regained consciousness. Sura still had the strength to complain, it's so salty. Son Hrong's eyes remained worried, and he gently reassured her, it's okay now. Upon returning to the hotel, Wang Su's eyes lit up with excitement when he learned that it was indeed Son Hyung. He immediately bombarded him with questions about Director Gu, but before he could finish his sentence, he was startled to see Son Hrong appear with a disheveled appearance. Wang Su quickly inquired, what happened? Son Hrong swiftly replied, nothing, sorry, but could you help me with my clothes? Despite his nonchalant demeanor, Wang Su seemed extremely worried, asking if Son Hrong had a conflict with Director Gu or if he was pushed into the sea. He expressed concern about a top star catching a cold in the middle of winter. Son Hrong was lost in his thoughts, still recalling Sura's image. After her miraculous recovery and her comment about the saltiness of the water, he burst into laughter, much to Wang Su's curiosity. Wang Su asked if he had one against Director Gu, but Son Hrong was still lost in his thoughts, thinking about how adorable Sura was. Perhaps the sensation of lifting her and touching her lips still stirred strong emotions within him. As he stepped out of the bathroom, he sighed tiredly, and Wang Su showed concern, asking if he had finished showering. Taking Son Hrong's script caught his manager off guard, who quickly questioned him, why did you take the script? Wang Su, overhearing, Cautiously interjected, Director Gu said if you stop resisting, you can shower and accept the role. As the manager finished speaking, he found himself assigned an important task by Son Hrong, why should I stay up late? Have you ever heard him speak so illogically? It's because of you that our schedule got messed up today, so that's why you have to stay up late. Wang Su sighed again, lamenting, I was planning to play poker on the 15th floor with some managers, but I guess that's off the table now. He then gave his manager two options, go or stay and shoot with me? Excitedly, Wang Su replied, I'll stay. Then, as if realizing something, he curiously asked, but what you said was a bit confusing. Sung Hyung quickly closed the script and continued, so, do you want to stay up with me tonight? 
Upon hearing this, the manager made a suggestion, let me escort you to the set. It was already quite late, and as they leisurely walked to the filming location, the night sky had settled in. Wang Su suddenly realized, that's Sura's manager. Son Hyun nodded in confirmation, yes, that's right. At this moment, the assistant director suggested to Kyung, just go to room 205. Kong Son Hurong has to shoot all night, and some staff members won't be there, so you won't feel inconvenienced. Their sudden appearance startled the two, who exclaimed, what? No rooms left in the dormitory? The assistant director was taken aback and snapped, hey, you scared the life out of me. How did you come in without making any noise? Wang Sura had finished filming, so she planned to return to her room. Her schedule was extended because she refused to complete her role. Son Hrong expressed surprise, really? I'm sorry. Is Sura's schedule because of me? Kyung quickly intervened, it's okay. I would have been in trouble if Kong Son Hyun didn't help me. Thank you so much. He continued apologetically, please don't say that. But, if she doesn't go to the doctor, will she be okay? Concerned, Sura's manager hastily replied, I said I would take her, but she insisted she's fine, so it should be okay. She still looks. Suddenly, Sura called out, Big Sister. As she peeked out and asked about the room, she caught sight of Son Hyun and exclaimed, Senior. While her manager explained they were talking about her, Son Hurong found himself stunned, murmuring, Why is she so beautiful? Then, he hurriedly asked, Wang Sura, are you okay? She shyly replied with gratitude, Yes, thank you, Senior, for saving me. Seeing Sura's discomfort, he consoled her, It's nothing. It's my fault you have to work another day. I'm sorry. Sura immediately brushed it off, It's really okay. The longer I stay at the film set, the happier I feel. Her naive response only impressed Son Hurong more, thinking she was overly enthusiastic. Before leaving, he kindly reminded her that if she caught a cold, she would feel very tired the next day and should rest indoors. He received a bow from her, which couldn't have been more adorable, yes, sir. Thank you very much today. Suddenly, she remembered something and hurriedly called out, Senior. Wait a moment. There's something I want to give you, it's in the car, I'll be right back. Son Hurong felt excited as he waited, and she quickly returned with a towel. Seeing him puzzled, Sura promptly explained, Do you remember, a year ago, during the commercial shoot, you lent this to me? Surprised, he asked, I said you didn't need to return it, but you still insisted? She added, but it looked expensive. With no other option, he reluctantly accepted it, well, thank you anyway. Then came a flurry of gratitude from the girl that left him speechless, you're welcome, I'm the one who should be thankful. I didn't think you'd remember it, but thank you for noticing. This towel gave me a lot of encouragement back then. I really appreciate you. Today, I thank you again for your good performance, for all these endless things you do. Thank you for everything. Unable to bear it any longer, Son Hurong decided to interrupt to prevent her from going on forever, that's enough, you go and rest indoors. Luckily, at that moment, Son Hurong's manager was urging him, Son Hurong, let's go, the director is calling. Finally, the two bid each other farewell, well then, I'm off. All right, good luck to you. After they left, Wang Su suddenly asked, Hey, Son Hurong, Jean Kyung seems nice. Who is she? His manager explained, She's Sura's manager, you just met her earlier. I think she's younger than me, but she's already 34 years old. Isn't she young? It's not easy for a woman to become a manager. It must be difficult for Jean Kyung. Seeing Son Hurong brushing off the matter, Wang Su got frustrated and questioned, Why are you like this? Didn't you hear what I said? Suddenly flustered, he stammered, Brother, well, actually. Then, he stopped abruptly, leaving his sentence unfinished. Before the manager could feel disappointed, he received an urgent message, You told the director that I'll be there immediately, I have to go here, then I'll be there right away. Wang Su stood helplessly, shouting in vain, Hey kid! Where are you going? I just said I'd see you off and then go play poker? In room 205, Sura was surprised by his presence. Yes? Sir, what did you say? 
He responded firmly, handing her the key and saying, I said sleep in my room. Sora still looked puzzled, not understanding what was happening. Son Hurong emphasized, Wang Sura, did you intend to wait until tomorrow to get the key? Sura replied hesitantly, Oh, I didn't know. Did I miss here? Son Hurong asked mockingly, What did you hear? Before Sura could say anything, he interrupted, Sleep in my room, you heard that right, not taking it? Sura looked at him suspiciously, and he also didn't understand why she was so angry. Sura yelled loudly, I'm not that type of person. Sura quickly grabbed the script despite Son Hurong's attempts to stop her. Look at me, Sura. He tried to explain, but she still refused. Son Hurong realized he had misunderstood and tried to explain again. Wang Sura, I think you misunderstood. The room is empty today, come and rest there with your manager. Sura still refused, but Son Hurong patiently explained. I filmed all night tonight, the shooting schedule extends to tomorrow and I think you will have difficulty with the situation today. Sura understood and breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, I get it now. Before leaving, Son Hurong reminded, I left the key at the door, rest. I have to go shoot, I'm leaving now. We'll meet again tomorrow. Realizing he must have left, Sura began to reveal her embarrassment. Kyung, still unaware, cheerfully exclaimed, what a relief. We're alive again. Curious, she turned to Sura and asked, but I thought I just heard someone talking. Who came? Sitting on the ground, Sura softly replied, Sister, it's Kong Son Hyung, the senior. How does he know I stayed up all night? The manager calmly responded, Yes, I mentioned it. Some staff have to go shoot. Hearing this, Sura shouted in embarrassment, Sister, you didn't say Kong Son Hurong went to shoot. As they walked down the hotel corridor, they whispered, Room 1701, right? Yes, 1701. Sura nervously asked, Sister, is it really okay? Is there anyone in that room? Kyung quickly reassured her, What did he do? He said he was worried about you staying out because of him. It would be impolite not to accept. Seeing her continued concern, the manager suggested, If you don't like it, you can return it, okay? but all she received was hesitant nods from Sura. After Kyung bid farewell, okay, you go in, I'll play poker on the floor. Sura responded, yes, sister. In fact, she was quite sensitive to sleep when living with Jean Kyung, losing sleep in the first week. So, Sura had decided to stay up all night. After stepping into the room, she was drawn to its comfortable amenities. Collapsing onto the soft bed, she began to lament, so tired. The lingering scent on the pillow made her feel overwhelmed, it was the scent left by her senior. Too many things happened today. In the past few days, she had been fine, but suddenly today she felt so exhausted. She silently felt grateful, thank you. If you hadn't taken care of me, I think my mood would have been very bad, and I would have been troubled during tomorrow's shoot. And most importantly, Senior Kong Son Hurong would be pleased that I didn't disappoint him, and I didn't want to let others down. Outside the room Ziangu was silently observing.